Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is ZA Reptile, or my name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. Today we're going to be looking at the enclosure build for Alfredo, my legless lizard. He finally got his new enclosure, and I am so excited. Love how it turned out. So if you missed my video review for uh, Talking Serpents, this enclosure right here, um, I will link that below so you can check it out. But now we're gonna get into showing you how I made his background and set up the enclosure, so let's get into it. All right, so let's get started. This is his new enclosure. It is a five by two by two from Talking Serpents, and I'm using this purple foam to build his background. The goal here is a rocky cave almost for the background. We're messing around with some new techniques, so we're gonna see how it goes. So a little update, I got these like big purple foam boards from Home Depot and cut lots of pieces. Originally I had them cut to size for the, oh, there's some silicone. Originally I had them cut in like boards for the background and then I was gonna attach different pieces. But I watched more videos on YouTube and a lot of people that have like the look I'm going for just do like lots of stacking pieces. So we're gonna give it a try. I've never done this before. So far, I don't think it's going very well, but we're not giving up yet. So I've got all these pieces. Some of them are silicone together to make like bigger rock pieces. And now I'm going back with my uh, hot wire to make them look more rock-like. And then we're gonna stack them in the enclosure and go from there. Well, first rock in was going decently, and then I snapped the wire. That is a problem. Okay, so I've been cutting individual pieces. I don't have too many that are silicone together. Most of them fell apart. But even if you're doing silicone and like kind of tetrising it, like let's take this one out so you guys get the full set. Like, I'm actually loving it. Like, there's all these different spots to like climb. It just like looks kind of like a natural rock formation. Hmm, we're on to something. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So after days and days of cutting foam and creating rocks and playing Tetris, we finally had something. So I uh, spray foamed everything into place to hold it there so it wasn't gonna fall all over and then created the top because I had to lay it down to do that. So I wanted more climbing. The goal was to create kind of like a little cave, like a rocky, I don't know what you want to call it, for him to climb behind right over there. And then again, more spray foam. Then we obviously had to carve down the spray foam so that we could start the dry locking process. Now I've done lots of enclosure builds, so you know my process. One layer of white dry lock, we use cement color to mix our next couple layers. We do about three layers, sometimes more depending on the species, but we're doing a couple layers of dry lock here in his enclosure. Remember we're going for that rocky look and then we're using non-toxic acrylic paint to add highlights and low lights, a little more natural. And then we finished by adding in the lighting. So he has a T5 Arcadia UVB and overhead halogen heating and this is the result of that background. So I didn't know how I felt about it at first, but now that it's been a while, I really like it. Wouldn't probably do it again. That was a lot of work, but I like how it came out. So now we get to set it up. So we're doing a mix for our substrate, of course. I always do more than one type of substrate. So we start with my base, which is my organic topsoil. You can get it right at Home Depot. And then we're mixing in play sand and a little bit of forest floor left over from some other builds. So we threw that in as well before adding some moss to mix into everything. Once the soil is all mixed, I added more moss to this one side to kind of help with the humidity gradient. This is where his humid height is going to be. And then it was time for my favorite part, which was adding the leaf litter. You guys know I think the leaf litter is a perfect final touch to an enclosure just to really make it look natural. And then it was time to decorate, which is sometimes the hardest part. It took me a while to figure out where I wanted everything. I had some big wood pieces I was using. And then of course I had to work in the plants and figure out where I wanted the plants. So it did take me a little while to get this enclosure put together the way that I wanted it.
And then the most important part, it was time to see what Alfredo thought of this enclosure. So you might notice he's got a little bit of nose rub. Shelter Pusics are known for this and this is why he got his enclosure before we moved because his nose rub cleared up in his quarantine tub and so I thought that was going to be a good solution for a little while while he healed and just recently he started nose rubbing in that tub. So. I knew it was time to get this enclosure move on. So eventually he did start exploring around and climbing. Now if you don't know much about Shelter Pew 6 or Lakeless Lizards, they love to burrow, they also love to climb. So having an environment that can reflect both of those activities, those behaviors, is very beneficial and very important to their husbandry. Now he does both. When I first put him in this enclosure, he climbed all over. Since then, he's been mostly burrowed, but I think that's because it's a new environment, he's getting comfortable in it, and then he's going to start exploring again. So I occasionally catch him out, but he's being a little shy now because it's a whole new place for him. But I'm very excited to continue watching him in this enclosure and seeing what kind of behaviors he might exhibit living this way. It's very exciting. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of his enclosure. I am obsessed and I love that he has been climbing exactly what I wanted. So, as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!